If you think Lightroom is confusing, then I've found an alternative editing software that actually creates better results. It's called Luminar Neo, but if you want to make the move over to Luminar, be sure you watch this first because I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know before you make that step. Now, the first thing that you need to know is they've actually updated their pricing to fit a lot of different pricing models. This is great because they allow you to choose between paying one time or a monthly subscription. Now, before you get all bent out of shape about monthly subscription, it actually comes out cheaper in the long end. Plus, you get all of the updates for Luminar absolutely free so i would go that route but if you want to pay one time and just be done with it i definitely understand where you're coming from because we have so many monthly subscriptions right now if you want to check out prices there's a link down below that gives this channel a little bit of a kickback if you choose to purchase luminar for your photography but it helps our channel make better videos like this one now, I think the best part of this is they actually have a Lightroom plugin. That's going to make the transition from Lightroom to Luminar so much better. And Lightroom, I'll be honest, has the best portfolio option out there for an editing software. So if you already have Lightroom, just use it in conjunction with Luminar and have that plugin available. So if I want to edit this photo right here, I can just right click edit in and edit in Luminar Neo, and I can edit with a copy of any Lightroom adjustments that I've made to this photo. Now let's just follow this photo over into Luminar to see how this actually works and how it speaks back and forth with Lightroom. So when you bring that photo up, it looks like this. You have your first window is your presets. Now presets are great because Luminar is actually a little bit ahead of the curve. They've actually had these tools of presets before Lightroom, especially the ones, let's go to easy landscapes. And if I click on forest stream, because this is a stream in a forest, let's just go that route. If I click on that, I have a slider that I can adjust of how much preset I want to apply to this photo. That's a new feature in Lightroom, I'll give you that, but this has been around in Luminar for a long, long time, so they're ahead of the curve with a lot of their tools. I'll just go to about 30 there and go over to edit. Now you don't wanna hit apply when you do any of these, this tool in the top right corner, because that sends it back over into Lightroom. You just wanna keep moving along with your edits in this. So they have all these AI tools, and before you say all these tools are unnecessary and you would never use them for landscape photography, I totally disagree with that because we see some of the same tools being updated into Lightroom and even into Photoshop, these same tools that have been around in Luminar for so long. Again, Luminar is just a little bit ahead of the curve in creating these new tools. I think one of the great things is that it's very similar to Lightroom in terms of global adjustments. So you have exposure, contrast, your highlights and your shadows, even down to the color options here that you can look at of overall uh, color adjustment for your photo. Now, I think one of the cool things about this is that you can actually do global adjustments and very fine tune adjustments to your photo to make it as easy as possible. So a lot of these tools are just very similar. The only difference in some of them is like structure AI is just your clarity slider that you would have in Lightroom. Now in just a second, I'm gonna get to why this rivals Lightroom and even Photoshop and why you should strongly consider moving over to it. But first, if you've ever thought about turning your passion for photography into a side hustle, I wanna let you know about a free webinar that's going on right now. It's in the pinned comment at right under this video that's gonna take you to a free webinar that shows you exactly the steps to take and how to do that. Go ahead and check that out because it's totally free and it's only for a limited time. Now let's get to the masking here. If I go into, let's say, mystical, this mystical feature that I have, if I scroll this all the way up, it really blurs out a lot of those edges and I would never make this edit to a photo. But when I scroll this back down, I can see that now I, I'm missing out on a lot of that, especially with fog and something coming in. The, the great thing about Luminar is you're able to mask these tools in. So if you scroll this all the way up and you're like, hey, I really like that feature in parts of this photo, but not the entire photo. Here's how you get it in just the small part. I love how you're able to visualize it, what it's going to look like in the entire photo. But if you want it just in a small part, you just slide that amount up and then go to masking, brush, 
and you can brush that effect in only where you want it. So I would brush it in to only where that fog is. And then I can go back to adjustments and adjust how that looks in the background. I can do the exact same thing and stack this on top of each other. Maybe if I wanted to create some fog in here and just dial that up, go to masking, brush, and only brush that in where I needed the fog to be in the very back go back to adjustments and increase or decrease the amount that I wanted back there. This is a huge game changer in terms of quality of photos that you're able to create with Luminar. Now, maybe you've done all your adjustments here. You want to export that over back into Lightroom. All you have to do is come up here to this apply button, click apply, and that will throw it back into Lightroom with all of these Luminar adjustments. This is a finished photo that I created with Luminar and the results in Luminar are just easier to visualize for me without having to guess what the tools are going to do. Again, if you wanna check out Luminar and that pricing, there's a link in the video description for you to check that out. And be sure to join that webinar on how to turn your passion for photography into a side hustle. See you next time.